I don't remember what the name of the guy was, but <laughs> buddy, he deserves a statue. Infinity Ring Ascended says Daz the Sauce Master. Not sure what that means. Not sure what that means. What we do here is go back, 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 back. First of all, we're gonna lay down some ground rules. I am Doss the Sauce Master, not Das the Sauce Master, not Doss the Fag Master, and not Sauce Boy. If you call me Sauce Boy, I'll beat your fucking ass. Well, now that we've got that out of the way, I'd like to welcome you all to Chris Mahana Quantica 2018. See, unlike some people, I don't drink beer and get intoxicated during my response video. I'm a sensible person and instead decide to indulge in the sweet one! And for the record, I prefer Mr. Pip. Now, for those of you wondering what Chris Mahana Quantica is, first off, I'm glad you asked, and second of all, it's the time of the year when we all gather around the swivel chair and enjoy the delightfully diabetes-inducing taste of Diet Dr. Pepper. And usually, while I'll reserve this for the end of the year, Monkey has forced my hand, obviously. <laughs> Alright, I guess we might as well get down to business now. First off, I just want to say how flattered I am by this thumbnail, okay? As someone who has been studying graphic design for years on end, I know how much time and effort it takes to go into this stuff. And I especially know how much time it must have taken to get that one fucking curl in my hair. So, no matter who edited this thumbnail, I just want to say thank you. That's a little behind-the-scenes talk between YouTube content creators. Kids, you gotta, you know, give credit where credit is due. Now, one of the major themes you're gonna see in this video is that Monkey really took to heart the nine-second period in which I didn't even verbally consider this to be a content cop, seeing that he pretty much played the entire clip unedited twice in a row. Now, do keep in mind the video is not titled Content Cop despite my willingness to do so in the past. And above all, I never even put on a police cap. So because of this, we're just gonna skip past every part of the video where he calls my video a content cop and somehow spirals that into a drunken rant about him not knowing how to set up his camera? Like, you're telling me you haven't gotten the hang of this yet. You make face cam videos at your desk all the time. Das the Sauce- Das the Sauce Master. Well, you see, on my Patreon, I used to have a deal where people could pay me $100 to choose a video topic for me to review. That's right. This guy made a video shitting all over me and then he paid me one hundred dollars to review it now i'm not gonna blame monkey for this one very much because i only slightly alluded to this in my video i didn't really try to make it all that clear i did not pay for that video. And you want to know why? Because I had a sneaking suspicion that things would end up the way that they did. So you may be wondering who paid for the video if not me. Well, I only have one rich white friend, so that might narrow it down. Nick is actually the culprit here in that he got this as a late Christmas gift for himself. Oh yeah, did I mention he gave him the money at the start of the year and he's just now getting to it six months later? A detail monkey just so happened to leave out in his timeline of the events. This guy made a video... ...shitting all over me... And then he paid me $100 to review it. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. Oh my god, did we just catch Monkey not doing basic, basic research? So yeah, Nick just wanted to see the biggest shit show in the universe, and then I made my review so that Monkey would finally make the video that he paid him to do. And that's pretty much what Nick got, the greatest shit show in the universe. Do I think it was worth the $100? Fuck no. Do I think he wasted his money? Maybe? We've actually made a bigger splash here than you may think. In my video, I criticize Monkey for monetary videos and boring Elliot Roger content, and in the time it's taken him to make this response, he has since cancelled the Elliot Roger series and completely removed the $100 feature on his Patreon. But paying to fix a YouTube channel you don't own is inefficient at best, especially when they get rid of the button to do it with. But no, I understand. Trust me, I really do. I wouldn't even let people pay me a million dollars to choose what I make a video on. I enjoy the freedom. It never feels like someone truly owns their channel when they have an option for someone else to just buy what their next video is going to be. The way I see it is you can either make a video that you wanted to make and has your opinions in it, or you can just watch Nick fucking pour tea for an hour and a half. Oh, so far so good. 
The video starts off with a 40 second clip of the steampunk fedora gentleman pouring himself a glass of tea. See, normally when YouTubers add long, boring segments to their videos, it's so they can stretch out the time to add more mid-roll advertisement. Uh, to Monkey and to everyone else watching this, if you don't find Nick dressing up as an alternate universe version of himself that killed him with a tiny cannon going into a kitchen and spending a fourth of the video pouring out a glass of tea funny Get out of my sight. Sure, some might argue that if I actually cared about getting major views, I would have made videos about Logan Paul versus KSI, or I would have reviewed the latest seasonal anime, or I would have made daily videos shitting on Trump. Uh, but you're right, you've got a good point. I definitely produced and uploaded Mumkashi Chronicles Episode 4 because I thought it would be an easy viral hit. Okay, now here I will admit defeat. Mumkey, you do not make content for views. You make it because it's something that you want to do. Which is even something that I mentioned right before I made that point in that video. So congratulations, you got me. In the span of one video in less than a minute, I completely contradicted myself. I admit to this video not being confident enough for you. But unfortunately, that's a point I'm going to have to deduct in just a moment. My channel uploads weekly, and that the content I post is generally whatever random idea I had that week. I mean, that shit is even in the channel banner right there. NEW VIDEOS WEEKLY! Monkey, you think I haven't picked up that you upload weekly? That has nothing to do with the point. I said that you do not have rhyme or reason in your videos. Rhyme in that you don't have any set basics to fall back on in the field of video topics. Some examples being drama and memes and YouTube news. And reason in that you don't seem to make videos that needed to be made, they just happened to be the idea that you had that week. Something you admit to in this video. I personally think that weekly uploads are a cheap tactic to make bad videos meaningful, which is why I don't do it anymore myself. But I think the people that do take that path and still make great quality videos are awesome. You're just not one of them. And apparently you were under the impression that all of my Elliot Roger videos are nothing more than a joke. I think having some videos every single year where you talk about a guy that murdered a bunch of people and everything he did prior to that needs to be taken with a grain of salt, at the very least. And no, I don't think all your Elliot Roger videos are jokes, but you think that the wacky lottery hijinks video was meant to be serious? You're telling me him going to that block party and getting kicked out wasn't supposed to be funny? I thought it was funny. Why am I even defending this? The phrase, the joke got old quick is a figure of speech. The Monkey's Anime Review series ended on March 27th, 2017. The Monkey's Mailbag series began on June 29th, 2016. Why yes, your mailbag series that you started in 2016 on your alternate channel. You see, this is a really funny joke because he's acting like he didn't restart the series on his main account five months after he ended the anime review series. Just like I said. And you see, this joke is really funny when you look at the playlist and that starts with the first episode that he uploaded on his main channel too. But no, I'll point out the other playlist that he has of the original seven episodes too. I'm not a monster. I mean, it's not like all he had to do was combine the two playlists together. You know, because the only difference between them is one exclamation point in one of their titles. The anime review series was a narrative-driven show, and the narrative came to an end at episode 50. Monkey, I'm gonna level with you here. I like your content. It leaves itself open for plenty of criticism, but I think it's alright. But you're telling me that your inability to talk about anime outside of the 50 episode long series and instead green light a fucking unboxing series that was on your second channel where it belonged is okay. Maybe it is okay. But you know what isn't? You're continued skipping past anything I would ever say that would contradict you. Monkey's friends, Rusty Cage and Asperger, are ugly, meth addict, shitty side characters from Always Sunny in Philadelphia looking motherfuckers. I did say at the beginning of this video that I want some top tier roasting if this is truly a content cop, but I meant 
top tier roasting against me. Yeah, Monkey, that's a great point, except for the part where I did that already. Monkey's Anime Reviews is a Japanese anime originally created by some Freddy Freaker looking faggot in Wisconsin or some shit. You just gonna pretend like I didn't say you look like Freddy Freaker? Is it because I'm right? Did we just catch Monkey Jones not doing basic, basic research. research again? Where are all the jokes saying that I don't need a monkey mask because I was born with one for a head? Have you read your own comment section recently? Or ever, for that matter? Every single person that is subscribed to you has made that joke at some point. You have made that joke for like the fifth time now. And besides, according to you, this is supposed to be a content cop. What does physical appearance have to do with anything? We're talking about content. It's in the title. Why are roasts a part of your arbitrary three bulletin system for content policing again? If someone's looks affected their content, Rusty Cajun Asperger would still have lost that race. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> His claim is that I haven't had a survival guide episode that didn't include Elliot Roger in four months. But here's the problem. The video he is referring to is the Retribution Survival Guide, which does include Elliot Roger in the thumbnail, but the contents of the video doesn't include Elliot Roger whatsoever. It isn't about him, he isn't mentioned once, I just included him in the thumbnail because he's the face of retribution. Okay, you know what? You got me. That Declassified Guide episode does not have Elliot Roger in it. But it's also not a Declassified Guide, you fucking idiot. So is that just like, we're, we're both wrong? Does it, does it just cancel out the entire argument? Is it a paradox? But when I compare something like that to the videos I'm making today, I see nothing but growth. I see that I've gotten much better at audio editing, delivery, video editing, comedy. And if he's not watching that video with nostalgia goggles, and he genuinely thinks that's better than all of the videos I've made this last year, then I think you, Sauce Boy, objectively have shit taste. There is such a thing as taking a thousand steps on a staircase that moves downward. You can raise your production value all you want, but when I come to your channel to see your opinion on things and all I see is a blatant lack of them in place of skits and mailbag videos, all I'm gonna ask is, why would anyone wanna stop the rolling ball in its tracks? It's the same problem I subsequently have with Quentin, YMS, and Ralph the Movie Maker. You find your niche and then kill it. And I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to see where the need to do that comes from. For fear of becoming stale? Yeah, because that definitely hasn't happened. For fear of becoming repetitive? You made 50 episodes of this fucking show, Monkey. That didn't seem to stop you. My point is that it takes a lot of talent to convert your audience after you kill your content and try to rebuild it again. And obviously, the talent you had wasn't enough to win me over. But as for me, I'm gonna continue to pick up where you left off. And, you know, someday I hope we can maybe be friends. But for now, I'm gonna have to leave you with a scar so you never forget the day that you crossed me and my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you all the rebirth of Everlast 77. It's time. Monkey, you dumbass, you don't understand That from the beginning, you were falling for the plan Cause my man Sauce Boy didn't pay a dime For you going ape shit and wasting all our time But Monkey, see what Monkey do Especially when it comes to you You talking shit about the suit You could've done your research too I don't know who you trying to label But Nick paid you back in April Better put Ellie get in the stable Make some content when you're able The 5 out of 10 to you as a fable But your shit don't belong on cable You make all the kids disabled Bring nothing to the table It doesn't matter what you say Care or not your views decay So you talking about ebay went by roll in a day but the other didn't slay that shit that shit that shit is sitting at 73 k. 73 k k 
I bet you thought you were paving the way The sheep over no? That's a toupee Just face it, you're out of luck, you got no bay Since you and Asperger are really fucking gay Took you almost half a year to look in the camera and chug a beer You're looking for songs, you're about to get lost Cause I'm gonna end your whole career So let me ask, how did you know I never watched that video? Gotta pick your fight, stay out of my sight I'm done with you, I'm passing the mic Yeah, for each other, fuck your mother, not another Didn't stutter, not a shutter but I'm about to serve you up with some butter Then I'll take your mask and I'll throw it in the gutter Nah, maybe I'll throw it a funeral, even funner Yeah, monkey, stay in your lane Cause you know your channel's lame It's always just more of the same You got yourself to blame for your rise Rise, rise and fall There, put that shit in your video.